So Steve, I think I can call you that again now. You banned me from it after the St Mirren game a few months ago. Did you think this would happen when you started playing football at Auckland Harvey all those years ago? This is amazing. <laughs> when you were kicking the ball about, did you think this would happen? Kelly into Europe. This is more nerve-wracking than sitting in that box watching a game of football, trust me. Thank you. Listen, the thing about football and football, football clubs like this, Thank you. I think it's important on a, a day like this, last day of the season, record points total. First time since 1966, I believe, finishing third in the league. So we've already built on what was a record season last season by doing it again this season. It tends, it tends to be that the manager seems to get a lot of credit, but I'm telling you this, without this group of people over here, you have nothing, eh? No, 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 no. That's a fine. But that's definitely a fine for Malumbu. My, my son. <laughs> Listen, without the players, the football club doesn't operate because these guys have been absolutely magnificent over the last 20 months. <laughs> they have to go to the pitch. They have to go to the pitch and they have to do it week in, week out. The pressure was on today because we wanted to finish third. We didn't want Aberdeen to be third. We didn't want to rely on Hibs doing anything. We wanted to do it ourselves here on our pitch, this is our pitch, this is Kilmarnock. And what you have to remember is this guy he's standing over there, he's looking a bit casual now, Billy, before he gets into his Jack and Daniels. You have the best owner that I've ever come across in football. And remember, I watched for Mr. Abramovich. I think Billy's richer. But the most important thing in any football club anywhere in the world is the supporters. And when I came here, we didn't have so many. We had a disconnect between the support, the board, the players. There was nothing, no togetherness. I said when I came in, together we are stronger. In my time at Kilmarnock, In my time at Kilmarnock Football Club, I'm sorry I didn't win you a trophy, but I'm telling you now, as I stand here in front of three stands with Kilmarnock supporters, bye-bye Rangers. And next season, next season, make sure when they come, it's bye-bye Celtic as well. Because this is Kilmarnock, this belongs to you. And the most important thing, I said no trophy. For me, I take this, this is my trophy, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, he's given us a clock back. So Steve Clark!